Elena Perez, 20 points in the game. Five out of eight at the line. She hit three threes. 16 points, Vega Lopez, six out of seven in free throwing for her. Nobody else in doubles. Yvette Lansing had eight. She missed her only free throw attempt in the ball game. Five points for Jasmine Kai and for Victoria Hickman. Kai was three out of four at the line. Hickman ended up uh, two out of four with a three-pointer. Four points for Anna Sands, two for four in free throwing for her. Four also, Repsy Wyman, she fouled out with 22.2 seconds to go, made all four of her free throws she attempted in the game. Sonia Dozier had two points. Playing but not scoring, Jasmine Cordova, Jasmine Rivero, Alicia Harriot, and Maya Williams. Let's look at Western Nebraska now, and only a point off of her season high was Alicia Douglas. Eight of nine in free throwing, had a three-pointer for 31 points total in the game. Also in doubles, Shante Henry, and boy, did Henry bury him. Five threes today in the game. I want to check that to make sure because when I set things up, nope, she had six threes for her 22 points in the game. And that's going to move her up the list because she's now in 15th place. She went from 18th to 15th. Nope, tied for 13th, in fact, in uh, career three-pointers at Western Nebraska. So, Henry, 22 points in the game. Six threes, two twos for her. Then it's nine points. Imani Brown, four out of six in free throwing. Z had 14. She was four of six in free throwing. Nine for Ashley Panham, four for four, a two and a three. Eight points, Isabel Cook, two out of three in free throwing. Seven for Jeanette Mibratu. Four for four at the line, including a three-pointer. Three points, Yada Garcia on three out of six free throwing. Cheyenne Perot also three out of four in free throwing for three. MJ Sarkodia do played, did not score. So ten played, nine scored for Western Nebraska. We'll look at team stats when we come back. Again, 107-65 Western Nebraska women winning it here on the Runza post-game show. And Runza doesn't like to think of themselves as just another restaurant in town. They like to think of themselves as part of the community. Runza with locations in Scotts Bluff, Gehring, and Shea. We take this opportunity to say thank you to the community we live in and the customers we are privileged to serve. This is Kevin Wolverton, Nebraska Market President with Western States Bank. All of us here want to wish you and your family the very best this holiday season. May the new year be filled with health, happiness, and prosperity. In warm appreciation of our association during this past year, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. Western States Bank, better together, member FDIC, NMLS number 938183. No job is ever done without the right fuels. This is Brian from Dooley Oil. In this country, our extreme conditions call for extreme measures. We carry both red and clear diesel treated with power service to keep injectors clean and add lubricity and avoid gelling up in cold weather. We also offer a full line of house products designed to keep you on the road and field. Committed to service, Dooley Oil offers delivery to stop in at 2475 North 10th Street on the Scottsdale Hearing Highway or call 633-2764. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. Western Nebraska winning it easily. 107-65, although Trinidad stayed tough, particularly first half, even into the third quarter. Kept things going there. Looking at some of the uh, shooting stats, Trinidad 42% on twos, 33%, 4 out of 12 on threes. They were 4 of 5 at halftime, so 0 of 7 in the second half. Overall, 40% from the floor, 70% on free throwing, 23 of 33. Western Nebraska hit 52% of their twos, 29% of their threes on 10 out of 35 shooting, and 32 of 44 for 73% at the line. Overall, on the floor, 42% for Western Nebraska. Points off the bench, Western Nebraska slight advantage, 21-19. Second chance points, 20-7, Western Nebraska. And off of turnovers, 41-13 because 
unofficially, I had uh, Trinidad with 35, Western Nebraska with 14 turnovers in the game. Back to name our player of the game before we start turning our attention to the men's game. Again, 107-65, Western Nebraska on the runs of postgame. You can take the trailer out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the trailer. PJ trailers are built in Texas with the same attention to detail to hold up to the hardworking professional using them. Ryan's Welding and Trailer Sales in Scotts Bluff is your authorized PJ trailer dealer with a wide variety of sizes. ATV trailers, car haulers, equipment trailers, tilt deck, and gooseneck trailers. Ryan's is also a full-service welding shop. Stop by 1110 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff or call 308-575-0710. Team Auto Center is a different car buying experience, and we want customers for life. Here's another way to prove it. Now, when you purchase a new vehicle from Team Auto Center, it'll come with a lifetime warranty at no extra cost. That's right. Purchase a brand new vehicle from Team Auto Center and get a lifetime warranty. One low price, plain, simple, and always. And now, a lifetime warranty. Ask one of our sales consultants for details or visit TeamAutoCenter.net. GMC, we are professional grade. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska winning at 107 265. And when we look at those numbers, they're brought to you by Paul Reed Construction. They've been in Gearing for over 35 years. Commercial and industrial building, heavy highway earthwork, along with the rock pile and big green egg store. That's Paul Reed Construction. Player of the Games brought to you by Taco John's of Scott's Bluff and Gehring. Make Taco John's a game day tradition by unwrapping the original before or after every game. And it has to be Alicia Douglas, 31 points. She's now ninth on the all-time scoring list. She moves to 13th in career assists. She moves to 7th in career steals and is now in third place in all-time three-point games by a WNCC women's basketball player. So she needs one more to tie for first in that category. So congratulations, Alicia Douglas. She's also now, as we said, in the top ten in scoring for Western Nebraska in her career. When we come back, we'll start looking at the men's game between Trinidad and Western Nebraska. These games, the only games in the South Sub-Region to game today is uh, Trinidad, Western Nebraska, the only ones scheduled. We'll be back. Again, thanks for being along. If you can't be along on the second game, thanks for being here in the women's game. Chuck Swartz wishing you a good afternoon and reminding you again the final was Western Nebraska women, 107 Trinidad 65. Take advantage of volume discounts during West Coast Cenex oil sale. Restock your lubricant and grease needs for 2022, and as an added bonus, earn a $50 Visa gift card with every 125 gallons of Cenex product purchased. Don't delay. These programs expire February 28, 2022. So contact your local Westco representative today. Westco, service, solutions, success. Westco's your best value through and through. We made it through 2020. Thank you. We made it through 2021. Thank you. We're looking forward to working with all of our customers, old and new, in 2022. And thank you for your business the past 10 years, whether it's sports teams, schools, businesses, or something unique just for you. The team at Logos has had the pleasure working with you and can't wait to work with you again. So from Jared. Thank you. Ryan. Thank you. Nick. Thank you. Danielle. Thank you. Anthony. Thank you. Mike and Adam. Thank you. Logos downtown gearing. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Western Nebraska picking up the win in that ball game as they win at 107 to 65 over Trinidad. Welcome back to our second game of the doubleheader. The Western Nebraska men coached by Billy Engel coming in at 12 and 8 following their 86-72 loss last night against Otero. While the Trinidad men, coached by Mike Fulda, are 10 and 7, defeating NJC last night, 77 to 70 in Sterling. Their sub-region record, 4 and 1. They're just behind Otero at 5 and 0. Oh. Western Nebraska, 1 and 3 in the South sub-region. Western Nebraska's Agua Niwish is sixth in the nation in steals. 
Carter Brown is 43rd in free throw percentage. DeJore Reeves of Trinidad, 22nd nationally in scoring at 20.9 points. And Robel Desta is 24th in free throw percentage at 86.8. Trinidad's averaging 80.5 points per game. That's 74th in the country. Western Nebraska's 85th at 79.4 points. And rebounds, Western Nebraska averaging 39.5, Trinidad 37. Trinidad turns it over one more time than Western Nebraska, 16 and a half to 15 and a half. Billy Engel didn't face Trinidad in his first season as head coach as COVID forced the postponement both times last season. Trinidad's at Lamar Tuesday, Western Nebraska's at McCook next Friday night, and then North Platte on Saturday night. Next up, I'll take a look at the rankings as we near tip-off for the men's game between Trinidad and Western Nebraska. You know it the moment you step in the door. Perkins Restaurant and Bakery welcomes you. Join our table or use our easy Perkins to go online ordering and pick up. After your meal, ask your server to try one of our new cake pies. And remember our bakery for fresh baked muffins, cookies, and pies. Need a gift? A Perkins gift card is perfect for birthdays, anniversaries, or just because. You've come to the right place. Perkins Restaurant and Bakery. Bring your appetite. We'll take care of the rest. Highway 26 and Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. When you decide to sell your car, there are so many more options than ever before. Do not overlook Team Auto Center as a top-rated buyer for your old vehicle. No need to trade it in on a new one. Team Auto Center will give you a fair market price for your vehicle with no expectation of you purchasing from us. Come experience the difference at Team Auto Center or visit us online at teamautocenter.net. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. Looking at the basketball poll on the men's side in the NJCAA this week, Salt Lake Community College stays number one. They're 22-0. Kilgore College moves up a pair to second. Indian River State also moving up two. They're third. Northwest Florida State dropped one. They lost to number nine Chipola this week. John A. Logan College falls three spots from second to fifth. Dodge City stays sixth. East Mississippi moves up to 7th. College of Southern Idaho moves up to 8th. Chipola moves up 2 to 9th. They were 2 and 1 as they did beat Northwest Florida as one of those victories. Hutchison falls a pair to 10th. Southeastern Community College moved up 2 to 11th. Florida Southwestern moves from 15th to 12th. Mineral Area from 14th to 13th. Parkham College went 1 and 1 and took a big drop. They fell 7 spots to 14th. Indian Hills Community College moves up one to 15th. Odessa moves up to 16th. Shelton State stays 17th. Triton College moves up a pair to 18th. Collin County went two and one, but lost to an unranked team and falls nine places from 10th to 19th. Northeast Mississippi moves up one to 20th. Garden City stays 21st. Snow College falls from 19th to 22nd. North Dakota State College of Science stays 23rd. Lee College falls 10 spots to 24th. And Jones College down to 25th as they fall three spots. We'll have the starting lineups coming up next as the High Plains Spas and Recreation pregame show continues. It's not just any business, it's your business. I'm Jackie Shaneman, Commercial Lines Producer at J.G. Elliott Insurance Center. You put your heart into building your business, and we are here to support you every step of the way. From property insurance to workers' compensation to a business owner's policy. Together, we will discover the right insurance coverage to protect what you have worked so hard for. Stop by at 1110 Circle Drive or visit us online at J.G. Elliott. J.G. Elliott, a Platte Valley company. Are you fed up with the cattle not getting what they need from the forages they're on? Need something to help bridge that gap? That's where Purina Rangeland Protein Tubs come in. They have consistent intake and nutrient delivery that help to eliminate overconsumption. They also provide high-quality bypass proteins to maximize animal performance and have trace minerals that aim to promote better fertility, immune function, and overall health. So stop struggling. Stop by Mark Rag to get your Purina Rangeland Protein Tubs today. Located at 718 21st Avenue in Scotts Bluff. Your home for WNCC Athletics. Time for our national anthem.
Well, as you get ready to tip off this second game of the doubleheader, the men's teams between Trinidad and Western Nebraska ready to go. Chuck Swartz with you in the Logos broadcast booth. Starting lineups are brought to you by Western Nebraska Community College. From diplomas to degrees, it's for me. Learn more at wncc.edu. Dylan West, 6'7", sophomore, comes out for Trinidad as the uh, first starter for Coach Mike Folda. West out of Chicago. Javen Tolliver, the uh, next starter. Tolliver, 6'1", from Milwaukee. Then it's Cooper Peterson out of Edmond, Oklahoma, a 6'4 freshman. Robel Desta, 6'7", and a, a freshman from Houston. And Gregory Beatty, 6'4 freshman out of Valdosta, Georgia, in the starting lineup. For Western Nebraska today, let's see, Biko Johnson comes out. Agua Niwish in the starting lineup. Looks like we're gonna see Jerumble Zaki and let's see, Them Kong and Carter Brown, the other starter for Western Nebraska in today's game. Brown out of Ogallala, Biko Johnson, Carson, California, Nywish from Austin, Minnesota, Zaki from Denver, and Kong from Grand Island. Western Nebraska, their home whites, while Trinidad will be in all black other than gold, an old gold numeral, and the uh, lettering is outlined in gold today. They'll average just a fraction under 6'5 in height in the uh, starting lineup. While Western Nebraska about 6'3 plus a fraction in the starting lineup for them. And uh, for Western they will have one freshman, four sophomores in the starting lineup. We had a technical foul called, so Carter Brown at the line to open play, and he hits the free throw, so probably a dunk, a norm up. Didn't have a chance to find out from the officials for sure, and now we're ready to go. And the opening tip brought to you by Papa Murphy's Pizza, 2801 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. Love at 425 degrees. Don't forget to register for the Papa Murphy's Text Club for a sweet deal. Zaki will jump against West. Western Nebraska wanting to go left to right, and it'll be Trinidad controlling the tip. Tolliver will bring it up. Tolliver against a man-to-man -man gives it on the weave to Peterson. Peterson to Desta. Desta gets rid of it in a hurry to Beatty. Beatty has it lost but picked up by West somehow. Long range three will go in for Tolliver. Tolliver makes it a three to one ball game. So we've had our first lead change <laughs> on the first possession basically as Western Nebraska had uh, got a free throw. Here's Kong turning. He'll put it up. It won't go. Gets his own rebound. Puts it off the glass and in. So that will tie it at three. Second possession for Trinidad. Tolliver, who had the bucket across. Biko Johnson on him defensively. Tolliver gets rid of it to Desta again. Desta trying to back in on Zaki. Pinned on the baseline. Gets rid of it to West. Outside, three-pointer by Peterson won't go. Nywish soars high for the rebound for Western Nebraska. Nywish across, looks for the trailer. That'll be Zaki. One dribble back to Nywish, and Nywish is going to be fouled as a knee was stuck out to impede his progress, and that will be Beatty with the foul. So a minute and a half into the game, we have our first foul called. It'll be non-shooting, and Western Nebraska will inbound it. Zaki gets it into Biko Johnson. Johnson comes to the right, drives, shovels it down low to Zaki, and he'll be fouled as West pushed him out of bounds, I think inadvertently, but a push nonetheless. And West will have his first. Trinidad with two. Mike 
pulled up having a discussion with one of the officials. Carter Brown flips the ball in, Zaki with it. He'll get it to Kong, free throw line extended right, bounces into the paint, puts it up, misses, rebound taken away by the 6-7 West. Trinidad with it, 3-3 our score, 18-15 to go, first quarter, first half of play, trying to fight through the screen, Biko Johnson is going to pick up the foul. So Biko with his first, first against the Cougars, and we are going to see Richard Swanson come in now, a 6'4 freshman out of Denver for Trinidad immediately as Beatty will leave. Ball will be inbounded to Desta. Desta takes it out on the arc, races down to the baseline, cut off there by Zaki. He'll pass the ball to Tolliver. Tolliver slings it down low. The drive by West, he'll score. West really banged into Kong to move him out of the way. And it's 5-3. to three. Zaki hands to Nywish. We're early. Western's led the last few games early, but second half's had some troubles. Nywish hits the three. Nywish makes it 6-5. Western Nebraska takes the lead back. Pass near side thrown away by Cooper Peterson. Peterson anticipating a cut by Richard Swanson that did not come. And Western Nebraska has it back after the turnover against Trinidad. Nywish reverses. Zaki with it. Now Biko Johnson left side. Kong down on the block. Muscles his way in. Misses short. Gets his own rebound. Comes through the middle and draws the foul. I believe that's going to be... Blake Caesar, who had just appeared. So Caesar picks up his first foul about half a minute after coming into the ball game. The 6'1 sophomore out of Pueblo, Colorado, will put Kong at the line for Western Nebraska. Kong hits the free throw. Hitting roughly two thirds of his tosses this year now. He's had two straight games that he's been in double digits. Kong is averaging 15.1 points per ball game. Second one won't go. The rebound taken by Swanson. Double in the corner against Peterson. He'll get it back to Swanson. Now on ahead to Caesar. Down low. It's thrown away by Trinidad trying to get it onto the block. We're going to see Diego Dominguez, a six-foot freshman in the game out of Denver for Trinidad. Let's see, they have Swanson out there. Looks like West, far side Caesar. Here's a drive by Agua, but it's cut off. Also Peterson in. Three-pointer misses badly, but the rebound came off to Zaki. He'll miss. Kong gets it back, misses. Rebound taken off by Western again. But it won't go in, and Trinidad comes away surviving all kinds of close-in shots. Here's Peterson. Skids to a stop, keeps dribbling it. Very colorful shoes, red on the interior, blue on the exterior. Peterson, entry pass to West. West, baseball's a pass in the corner. Here comes Dominguez. It's taken away. Biko Johnson has it knocked free from behind. It'll be Western Nebraska with the ball following the second turnover. And the revolving door continues for Trinidad. Joven Wright will come into the ball game. Nine have played here in the first three minutes, 40 seconds for Trinidad. Western Nebraska, let's see if they've changed anybody. Yes, Sawyer comes in, so they've played six now. Nico Johnson wanting to make sure everybody's organized now starts dribbling slowly toward the far side in front of the Trinidad bench. Gets it down low. Great pass to Thorpe. He'll lay it in. That'll make it 9-5 Western Nebraska. Swanson across for the Trojans of Trinidad. Now Joven Wright. Down on the block, Gary Johns in for the first time, handles it, a 6'8 player. He'll give it to Dominguez. Dominguez back to Johns. Johns launches from the free throw line. It rims out. Rebound Carter Brown. 
Brown turns it into a dribble, brings it into the forecourt for Western Nebraska, jumps a pass back to Thorpe. He'll launch, but miss badly off the side. Biko Johnson with the rebound. Johnson spins, puts it off the glass, but it will not go. Rebound Trinidad. Rebound taken there by Wright, and he fell down but got rid of it first. Here's Johns with it for Trinidad, still 9-5, Western Nebraska. Dominguez will handle it on the weave. Now Caesar, high post, Johns again, gives it to Caesar. He's open for the three, and he drains it. Blake Caesar hitting 38% of his threes makes his first one. It's 9-8, Western Nebraska. Chancellor Johnson in for Western Nebraska, handling it, gives to Biko. Biko starting to drive, cut off, launches a three that misses badly underneath Thorpe with the rebound. He'll score. Thorpe muscled it home for his second hoop. 11-8, Western Nebraska. 14 and a half minutes to go. Ball fumbled away by Caesars, and it's recovered, however, by Swanson of Trinidad. No turnover. Johns with it. Gary Johns out of Chicago at 6'8". Dribbles hesitantly out toward the top. Now gives to Dominguez. Dominguez puts it up and misses. Rebound Thorpe. Thorpe with the basketball to Biko Johnson. Western Nebraska up by three. Carter Brown, nice move. He'll draw the foul. Carter Brown faked the three, then drove into the middle and drew the defense in. And Blake Caesar is going to pick up his second foul. So Caesar off the bench, the first with two for Trinidad, and that will put Carter Brown at the line. He hit a technical free throw to open the ball game before the center jump. Now he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Looks like we've got wholesale subs ready to come in for Trinidad. Brown hits the free throw. A little body English helped on that one. And now we're going to see Tessatani Brown, a 6'1 freshman from Aurora for the first time. Looks like Javon Tolliver is back in. We're going to see Jalen Bedford, a 6'4 freshman from Austin, Texas, in. Brown hits the second free throw. That'll make it 13-8, Western Nebraska. See, Jovan Wright is in. Bedford will inbound against a bit of a press, and uh, Brown will come down to help out along with Tolliver on the inbound. Tolliver takes it. He'll be doubled in the corner, gets it back to Bedford. He loses the ball. Nywish throws the ball to Thorpe, and it's off his fingertips, so turnovers both directions. Western loses a chance for points off a turnover there. 13.51 to go in the half. 13-8, Western Nebraska with the lead. And again, the press on. And we're going to have a foul, and it'll be called on Chancellor Johnson as he grabbed some jersey there before the man could make a cut. Johnson out, Zaki back in. That's Chancellor Johnson out. Zaki in, and the inbound to Brown. Brown gets it in, and Tolliver has a step, races into the paint area, takes it down low, misses the shot, rebound, comes right back out to Brown. He'll give it off. A three-pointer goes in for Jalen Bedford. Bedford makes it a 13 to 11 ball game. Western Nebraska had led early, trailed 3-1, regained the lead. So far it stayed with Western Nebraska. Sawyer with it, Thorpe far side. Thorpe will drive to the baseline, puts it up and in. Thorpe, strong move there. He has a handful already. 15 to 11, Western Nebraska, Bedford with it. Bedford, between the legs on the dribble, now slows up a bit. He'll give it high post to West. West on an interior cut to Tolliver. His shot won't go. Rebound taken by Thorpe. Nywish with it. Nywish through traffic right side to Sawyer. He's wide open. The three-pointer won't go, however. And the rebound taken by Bedford. He'll turn it into a fast break himself. And great defense by Nywish. It was a two-on-one. Western had some trailing help coming. But it was two on one, and Nywish kicks the ball out of bounds, preventing the layup. 12.42 to go, 15-11, Western Nebraska. Trinidad comes in 10-7. and seven. They're 4-1 and one in the sub. Otero's 5-0. and oh. 
Ball into the right baseline, and it'll be Tolliver hitting the 15-footer. Tolliver makes it a two-point Western Nebraska lead, 15-13. Nywish jumps the pass back to Thorpe, now Sawyer. Sawyer going right, stops, forces an 18-footer, and hits it. Sawyer makes it 17-13, Western Nebraska. Quickly, the other way, Bedford has it, but he backs off. Near interception, but pulling it in is Tolliver, and he'll bury the three-pointer. Already eight points for Tolliver. He makes it a one-point game, 17-16. Just inside 12 minutes to go now in the first half of play. Thorpe, or excuse me, that would have been Kong, and he makes a bad pass. It's intercepted. Here comes the drive by Bedford. He'll take a 15-footer. And Thorpe got a hand on it to block it, but it's Trinidad with it. Here's a 15-footer that goes in for Brown. And we've got timeout. Western Nebraska as the lead seesaws back on top to Otero. 18-17 on the West Coast scoreboard. Your smile is in good hands. Hello, I'm Dr. Caitlin Lastavica, and I'm so happy to be serving patients from Scottsbluff, Gearing, and the surrounding area. We offer general, cosmetic, and restorative dentistry with family-friendly hours, including emergencies. We're welcoming new patients, including children. Call us today for an appointment at 632-5131, and I assure you, your smile is in good hands. Your home and away voice for the Cougars, 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska falls behind for the second time in the early going of this ball game, 1817 on a brown jumper. And boy, Trinidad's really spread it around so far. They've had uh, five different people score, and they've had 10 play already in the ball game. Press on by Trinidad. Biko Johnson takes it. He'll bounce it to Sawyer, back to Biko, still in the backcourt. Now Biko splits the defense, races on down the middle, gets it to Kong. He'll miss the dunk. And the rebound taken by West of Trinidad. Dylan West gets rid of it to Beatty, who is back in for the Trojans. Bedford handles it. He'll take an underhand scoop and put it in. Bedford has a handful of points himself, and it's a three-point lead. For Trinidad, 20 to 17 as we cross the 11 minute mark. Thorpe will hand it to Sawyer, gives to Nywish. Nywish to Biko Johnson. Kong at the free throw line with his back to the basket, passes to Sawyer. Here comes Sawyer to the right side, but he's cut off. He'll go to Nywish. Backdoor cut, that's a reverse layup for Sawyer for two. Nice move as Nywish threaded the needle on that one. 20 to 19. Ball's taken away by Biko Johnson. Johnson racing down, misses the layup. It was like he was deciding on a layup or a dunk and missed it. Ball comes down on the right baseline. Here's Brown. The ball's given away to Beatty, and it's out of bounds off of Trinidad. Trinidad had an opportunity there, but uh, turnover gives it back to Western Nebraska. Josiah Deolos will come in for Western Nebraska, the Scotts Bluff high grad, with 10.20 to go, 20 to 19. Trinidad leading it. We've had three lead changes, one tie so far. Deolos being picked up by Brown. Bad pass, but Sawyer came up with it somehow. Here's Sawyer to the hoop. The underhand scoop won't go. Kong has it, reverse layup for two. So that'll make it a 21-20 lead. Western Nebraska back on top. 9.47 clock running here in the first half. Tolliver way out on top with it. Takes a screen. He'll take the shot, but comes up short. Nywish with the rebound for Western Nebraska. Nine and a half minutes to go. Western Nebraska by one here in the first half. Mike Fold, a veteran coach, has been at uh, Trinidad a long time. Here's Kong. He'll swing it out to Nywish across to Diolos. He'll drive into the paint. The runner bounces three times and comes out. Rebound west of Trinidad. Quickly ahead, Tolliver. 
He'll swing it to Beatty. He'll take the three. It's short, but the rebound taken by Trinidad. West with it. He'll drive, reverse layup for two. And the lead back to Trinidad. We're at 8.50 to go, first half. One point lead for Trinidad as Diolos drives. Dishes to Nywish. Thorpe, Nywish again. His pass deflected. Nywish loses the handle. It's a turnover, and here's the three-on-one break, but it's thrown away by Trinidad. Trinidad twice now has had break opportunities. Couldn't get them to go. We've got timeout, 8.32 to go in the half. 22-21 Trinidad on the West Coast. As Auld Lang Syne plays in the background, you sigh the relief that the holiday season has come to a close and the last thing on your mind is insurance. But if you received a new ATV, piece of jewelry, golf equipment, or even an electronic tablet, you may need an increase in coverage to protect them. The friendly agents at Classic One Insurance in Scotts Bluff and Gearing would be happy to discuss coverage options. Stop in and talk with a Classic One Insurance agent today. Classic One Insurance, it's always something. Katie, remember the day you made me the happiest man alive? I asked if you wanted to live to the fullest, to wake up every morning savoring potato olays, fluffy scrambled eggs, and breakfast burritos from Taco John's, and you said... Get your hands off my burrito. Oh, Katie, I love when you whisper sweet nothings. Wake up and go with bigger, bolder, better breakfast, only at Taco John's. Drive through open at 6 a.m., dining room open at 8. Taco John's, with locations in Scotts Bluff, Gearing, and Bridgeport. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. On KOZY 1013, 22-21 Trinidad, the timeout taken, and Western Nebraska is seeing if they can get the sixth lead change already here in the first half. We've had the one tie, that was at three all. Western Nebraska will have the ball, and it's Diolos to bring it up. Man-to-man -man defense by Trinidad. Diolos, right side pass, and I wish, nope, I say man-to-man. -man. It might be zone now. Kind of a mix-up here as they're changing around. Sawyer trying to dribble out on top, takes it to the right side. It is a zone, and the pass to Diolos, he saves it inbounds. Get it into the corner. Thorpe will launch. The three won't go. Nywish has the rebound. He'll be fouled by Dylan West as he timed his leap perfectly to get that one. Now they're going to call it on Cooper Peterson. Pushed him first before West got there. So first on Peterson, 8.05 to go in the first half. Diolos will launch from the corner, but it won't go. And the rebound taken off as Western Nebraska just kind of stole it away. But away from that, looks like Kong being called for the foul. That was away from the action going there as he got aggressive on the box out. He'll come out. Zaki comes in. Inbounding will be Tassatani Brown out of Aurora, Colorado. Gets it into Tolliver. Back to Brown. Tolliver still in the backcourt. Now it's across Dominguez. Dominguez feeds it away. Desta back in. He'll drive, and he's going to be fouled just as he crossed the arc. That'll be Rodney Sawyer with his second. Or first, excuse me, on Sawyer. Bigo Johnson has one. Chancellor Johnson one. And Them Kong with one. Ball inbounded to Cooper Peterson. Peterson in the center jump circle starts his dribble to the right side, hooks it through the middle, and it'll be knocked out of bounds by Thorpe. Carl Thorpe knocks it away, so Trinidad will have a baseline out of bounds play on the left side, leading it by one yet, 22 to 21. Cooper Peterson will launch a three-pointer. It rims out, rebound, inadvertently tipped up by Nywish, but ultimately the rebound to Thorpe. Long pass ahead to Diolos. He'll travel with the basketball. Turnovers starting to mount a little bit. Four on Western Nebraska, five on Trinidad. Biko Johnson will come into the ball game. Thorpe's there, Sawyer. Biko, as we said. Diolos still in also, as is the key. Biko, or Nywish, take the uh, rest right now. 
Dominguez with it. Dominguez dribbled on the left side for a while. Now takes it out between the circles, lobs it down low. Open, muscling the shot up was West, and he misses. Sawyer breaks through the double team. Euro step puts it in with the left hand. 23-22, Western Nebraska with the lead. We're just under seven minutes to go. First half of play. Dominguez dribbling left. Passed it out on top to Desta. Now it's taken away by Sawyer. Sawyer's pass on ahead. Zaki puts it up and in. So that turnover results in points, and Western Nebraska leads by three. But here comes Trinidad, and a foul will be called as Desta took it strong to the hoop, and Western Nebraska had a couple of, a couple of men try and collapse on him, and it'll be Sawyer picking up his second. So in a minute and 15 seconds, Rodney Sawyer has personals one and two. Wholesale subs for Trinidad. We're going to see Evan McMinn, a 5'10 freshman, come in out of Fountain, Colorado. Let's see. Cooper Peterson's still there. McMinn will be inbounding it. He'll get it into West. West will hand it away to Tolliver. Also in there is Swanson for Trinidad. Pass down low is a good one, and West had a little trouble hanging on to it, but he turned and scored just ahead of the shot clock violation. One-point lead, Western Nebraska, 25-24. Biko Johnson for Western gives to Zaki. The Olos right side, Zaki on top. Left side, here comes the drive by Biko. He'll give it to Josiah. Zaki is open, but the three is an air ball, and it'll be Trinidad with the ball with 5.52 to go. 25-24, Western Nebraska leading by one over Trinidad. McMinn takes the inbound pass. He'll get it back now and pass ahead to Cooper Peterson in the forecourt, but Diolos takes it away from him. Diolos causing the turnover. Here he comes on the drive, feeds Zaki, he'll lay it in. That was all Josiah Diolos. It's 27-24, Western Nebraska. Tolliver, he gets rid of it, gets it right back from Swanson. Now West turns, 17-footer, won't go. Rebound taken by Thorpe. Biko Johnson with it now, 5.14 to go as Johnson races to the left side. He'll step back, takes the shot, it won't go. And the rebound to Tolliver of Trinidad. Long pass on ahead and the layup by Dylan West. And I believe he was fouled. Yes, it'll be an and one. That'll be Josiah Diolos trying to prevent the layup there but couldn't. And West will have a chance at his ninth point already. Brown in, Diolos out, Zaki comes out. Let's see, Kong is in, Thorpe, Biko Johnson, Carter Brown, and Agua Niwish. West to attempt his first free throw of the night, and he gets it. So that ties it at 27 all. That'll be the second tie we've had. Thorpe quickly in the forecourt gives it back outside Biko Johnson. Johnson now dribbles slowly toward the left side, reverses the pass to Brown, gets it to Thorpe at the free throw line. He backs away. Now gives it to Biko, and his pass is thrown away, trying to get it to Thorpe. Turnover on Western, and here comes Tolliver. Tolliver, McMinn, Peterson, West posted up, puts it up and in. West at 6'7 is pretty tough. He's already in doubles. And timeout, Western Nebraska. 29-27 Trinidad on the West Coast scoreboard. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Scotts Bluff supports the WNCC Cougars. Treating your chiropractic needs from newborn to 100 years old. Dr. Levi Bolin can treat all of your hurts, pains, aches, and injuries. If you are experiencing pain in your head, neck, shoulders, arms, mid or low back, or down to your legs, call for an appointment today. Advantage Chiropractic is also fully certified with Optum VA. If you know a veteran that needs chiropractic care, call Levi today. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture, 308-633-1425. Go Cougars! Alano's businesses need reliable communication, both at the office and at home. Now more than ever. 
Just listen to Bill Michener from Lighthouse. Before we'd have breaks in service, especially for internet, but we've never had any issues with Allo. It's always been there and available when we needed it. At Allo, supporting your business is our business. To get your free quote and switch today, visit allofiber.com slash workfast or call 402-480-6685 today. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Scotts Bluff proudly supports the WNCC Cougars. Dr. Levi Bolin can treat all your chiropractic needs. Call Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture at 633-1425. Western Nebraska took the timeout, trailing 29-27. We've had two ties, seven lead changes in the game so far. Press on, Biko Johnson and Iowa Nywish in the backcourt to bring it up. Here's Biko avoiding a double team, has it across. Beat the 10-second clock by about one. McMinn picks him up. Now Biko Johnson to the right side. Flip it into Thorpe in the paint. He'll muscle a shot and draw the foul. The ball hangs but will not fall in. And the foul on Dylan West. So West picks up his second foul of the half. Caesar also has two. Western Nebraska has Rodney Sawyer with a pair. Kong will be at the line. One out of two in the game. He's hitting two-thirds of his free throws on the season. Western down by one. Kong's first free throw off the iron. One more coming. We're going to have uh, Gary Johns back in, 6'8", freshman out of Chicago for Trinidad. Kong, one more free throw coming as he had to wait a minute because of the substitution. He'll put this one in. So that makes it a one-point game, 29-28 Trinidad. Long pass ahead. Tolliver operating on the left side against Nywish. He'll go high post to Johns. Johns, the lefty, gives it away. Here is Tolliver, is 15 on the baseline. Partially tipped by Nywish, I think, and Western trying to save it in couldn't as it was gathered in on the baseline. So it'll be Trinidad with the ball. Should be 20 on the shot clock. Not 30 since they're taking over in the forecourt. The adjustment made as the official signaled the bench. And it'll be Evan McMinn inbounds. The shot will miss, but it's taken back by Swanson. It's rejected. Nywish saves it in the corner after the Kong block. Carter Brown in the corner reverses it out to Biko Johnson. No look pass down low to Kong. He's blocked from behind, gets it back, puts it up and in. Kang with 10 in the game now. McMinn jumps a pass to Swanson. Into the corner, McMinn's open. He'll miss the three, however, and Kong with the rebound. Western Nebraska, a 30-29 to 29 lead. We're just over three minutes to go in this first half. Nywish goes to Kong near the free throw line, backs in, kicks it in the corner to Brown. Swing it to Nywish. The three-pointer won't go, and Nywish was fouled by McMinn. He'll go to the line to shoot three. McMinn's first foul. Nywish has hit a three in the game so far. He's got a string going. He's been in double digits seven straight games, including a career-high 26 against Casper. Nywish misses the free throw. That's the first one he's missed in a while. He's gotten the average up to 74%, but the first one does not go in. Remember, he has two coming. This one misses long, so I don't know that I can remember Nywish missing a pair. He'll back off to try another, but Trinidad will bring Beatty and Desta back in the game. Thorpe in for Western Nebraska. Nywish back up there after a stroll around the back of the circle and this one will go in so he gets one of the three makes it a two-point lead 31 29 Desta comes to take the pass now it'll come on ahead to Tolliver he'll stop at the free throw line and hit the jumper Tolliver in doubles with 10 and we are tied at 31 all three ties now 
Carter Brown, who has three points, all in free throws, gives to Nywish. Nywish, Thorpe down on the block, left side, trying to bump his way in, turns, it's blocked by Desta, saved by Thorpe on the baseline, however, three on the shot clock. Nywish to the hoop, and it's blocked, so the ball comes away to Trinidad. They'd have had it on the shot clock violation anyway. Now the ball's knocked away and a turnover against Trinidad. And Javon Tolliver slid into Biko Johnson, who was trying to control the ball. He wasn't going to get it back after the collision, but the foul will go against Tolliver and be his first of the ball game. And the one and one in effect. Looks like Sawyer is going to come in. Nywish will take a breather. So Biko Johnson, who is scoreless in the game. Johnson averaging 13.6 points per outing. He'll hit the free throw to earn the bonus. Makes the score 32-31. Western Nebraska with the lead. Biko taking his time up there. Hits again. 33-31. Biko Johnson, two out of two at the line. At the other end, Trinidad throws it away, trying to get it to Richard Swanson. And that'll be nine turnovers against Trinidad in the ball game now. So Western Nebraska has the basketball back. A little press on by Trinidad again. They've tried it a few times to try and disrupt the offense, but pretty good job by Western so far. Carter Brown jumps it to Biko Johnson. He's into the forecourt. Biko gets by the defense behind the back pass to Thorpe. He'll try the layup and get it over two different individuals. Thorpe with half a dozen. 35-31, Western Nebraska. Trinidad zips it around, Desta with it. Now Johns, Johns spins on the dribble and is going to be fouled. That'll be Biko Johnson picking up his second. So with a minute and 27 seconds to go in the half, Johnson in a bit of trouble now as Western Nebraska needing to protect their players as much as they can in a physical ball game here. That is the bonus for Trinidad now. So Gary Johns, who is scoreless, will have his first free throw attempt of the ball game. He earns the bonus as that one goes in. Makes it a 35-32 ball game. Western Nebraska still leading. Second one in cleanly, so 35-33. Gary Johns looks solid at the line there. He's a 77% free throw shooter. Chancellor Johnson takes it from Josiah Deolos, who's back in. Press on. Deolos has it across the timeline. Bounce pass to Chancellor. He'll take it to the free throw line. Goes far side. Here's Thorpe. Dishes out to Sawyer. Nice fake. Goes baseline. Fade away from 12. Goes in. Sawyer makes it 37-33. Minute three to go. First half. Trinidad with the basketball. Tolliver drives paint, loses the handle. It goes off the backboard. Western finally comes up with it. It'll be a turnover. Here's Deolos into the forecourt. Western Nebraska by four. Deolos steps back, tries to drive, can't pass it to Sawyer. It's off his hand. Turnover, and here comes Trinidad the other direction. The reverse layup will go in for Jalen Bedford. Nice move by Bedford to score, and it's 37-35. Sawyer breaks through the pressure. Thorpe, left corner three, is too strong, and the rebound taken by Gary Johns of Trinidad. Inside 20 seconds to go. Johns dribbles it across the timeline himself. Now gets the ball to Tolliver. We're at 10 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Tolliver drives to the right side, puts it up, misses, tipped outside. Trinidad with it, a foul with 1.8 seconds as Gregory Beatty got the rebound, tried to score, and he'll go to the line to shoot. Beatty will have two coming. 
1.8 seconds to go, and Chancellor Johnson picks up his second. So three individuals with two fouls each for Western Nebraska. 37-35, Western Nebraska leading it. Free throw goes in, so Beatty with his first point. 37-36, one more free throw coming for Beatty. He could tie it up for the fourth time in the half, but doesn't. It rims out. Kong has the rebound, and that will take us to halftime. Western Nebraska at halftime leading at Trinidad by a 37-36 score on the West Coast scoreboard. Be the envy of the neighborhood with the new Green Mountain Grill from High Plains Spas and Recreation. In addition to Green Mountain Grills, High Plains Spas and Recreation also has the pellets, cooking spices, rib racks, smoking shelves, covers, and other accessories, as well as replacement parts. If they don't have what you need, they can get it. Yep, get a Green Mountain Grill and be that neighbor that's always admired for the wonderful, yummy barbecue smells. High Plains Spas and Recreation, open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1725 East Overland in Scotts Bluff. WTT now has a bank shot game room dedicated to bank shot skill games. And better yet, they're open 24-7. Stop in, play, and you might be the next big winner. While you're there, fuel up the car, wash the car, get some pizza, ice cold drinks, or mini stacks to choose from. There's no need to drive all over town. It's all here at WTT on the Beltline Highway. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WTT, your one-stop shop to make you a winner. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we've built our firm around a deep respect for planning, our commitment to helping you plan effectively, invest wisely, and map a realistic course to your future is nowhere more evident than our envisioned planning process. Put the process to work for you. We'll be with you every step of the way. For more information, call Ryan Windhorst, Senior Vice President of Investments, today at 632-7561. That's 632-7561. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Western Nebraska leads it at halftime, 37-36. They led 1-0, a technical free throw by Carter Brown because of a dunk. At least I expect that's what it was in the pregame by Trinidad. Led to the technical, either that or a scorebook error. But then a three-pointer by Trinidad gave them the lead. Western Nebraska tied it at three. Then trailed 5-3, took their second lead of the game at 6-5. They extended it to 9-7 before another three by Trinidad. It was 11-8, Western Nebraska with 14 and a half minutes to go. They made it 13-8, 15-11, 17-13. But then all of a sudden, here came Trinidad. They led it 18-17 with 11-37 to go in the half. They extended it to three at 20-17. And then we started the lead changes. Western Nebraska led 21-20. Trinidad, 22-21. Western Nebraska, 23-22. We were tied at 27-31. and And at halftime, 37-36, Western Nebraska. We'll be looking at numbers, but we will have a chance to talk with Chad Gibney, the women's coach of Western Nebraska, when we come back. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> with a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. Ask Travis Hawk about Shelter's life insurance coverage options. You can take the trailer out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the trailer. PJ Trailers are built in Texas with the same attention to detail to hold up to the hardworking professional using them. Ryan's Welding and Trailer Sales in Scotts Bluff is your authorized PJ Trailer dealer with a wide variety of sizes. ATV trailers, car haulers, equipment trailers, tilt deck, and gooseneck trailers. Ryan's is also a full-service welding shop. Stop by 1110 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff or call 308-575-0710. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. On KOZY 101.3, we have Chad Gibney with us now, the women's coach. Western Nebraska picking up the win, 107.65. Fifth time you've been in the century mark this year. And 
I don't know what it is about your team. At times, they don't look like they're getting much done, and here you put up 21 points, 27 points, 33 in the fourth. I think perhaps we wondered about your team and their conditioning since they don't get to play very much. Players got a lot more time today and seemed to be stronger in the fourth quarter than Trinidad did. Yeah, seemed to uh, seemed to keep getting stronger as the game went along. Uh, you know, didn't didn't think we came out to a great start again. <laughs> uh, we were a little bit a little bit lackadaisical really for probably the first 20 to 25 minutes, uh, and, and then after that we uh, we settled in and, and we've talked to our team that hey, you know sometimes these games are harder to play than than games uh, that we're worried that about what the outcome's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, and so, it's, you know, staying mentally strong and playing possessions the right way is something that we're, we gotta continue to get better at and, and gonna, stay focused. I'm gonna bring you a highlight now because I think this may have been the key play in the game. It comes in the waning seconds of the first quarter. Western Nebraska, that was a big lead. Got you kind of established, I think, and Trinidad had to be a little bit worried, saying, gosh, we played pretty good, and now all of a sudden we're down eight. Yeah, I, yeah, it went from five to eight, right? And that was good to see us. Uh, I, I think a lot of times, you know, especially young teams, they uh, think there's less time than they really have. You yeah. know, eight, eight, 12 seconds, a lot of time, that's a, lo that's a, that's a lot of time. Uh, and so for us to be able to make, uh, like you said, it went from, uh, Douglas to Perot to Panem to not, uh, you know, to be thinking about that extra pass there was really good. Yes, it was. Well, 20th win out of the last 35 years. That's the 40, 34th time Western has won 20. The only time was earlier this year in what I call the COVID <laughs> season when it was in late winter and spring when you had to do those games and of course you didn't have a full schedule yeah not having a full schedule i, th I think we probably would have got there last year as well yeah. uh, but like you said that that's a unbelievable statistic there just the sustained excellence uh of the western nebraska program yeah. um and, and and obviously uh you know coach harnish uh before me and and the success that he's had was unbelievable yeah well you got mccook next week and then that's it so almost a week off between games and then you have a little more time, but uh, you're going to make up for it being in the bus. <laughs> Ab absolutely. So we'll use this time to hopefully, uh, you know, rejuvenate our bodies. And then we have time to keep adding things uh, and to keep uh, making sure that we're getting better at things that we need to improve upon. And I don't know if you'll stat this game, but I think they had uh, three assists for, Del for Douglas. But we talked before the game. Yes, she's in the top ten now with her 31 points today. She's ninth. Uh, with the three assists they listed, she moved to 13th on the career list. Uh, the steals, three of those today, moved her to 7th on the list. Mm -hmm. Getting into the 30s puts her in a tie for 3rd for the most by a woman ever. One more would tie her for 1st there. Mm -hmm. And Shante Henry, well, she only had, what, six threes today, I believe it was, which gives her... 13th place in the career threes she was red hot yeah, she was and she gave us a good lift there in the first half to be able I think she made five of them yeah. uh, in, in the first half so that was good I thought Shanti did some good things and, and at times we played really good basketball yeah. uh, you know it's just staying locked in and it's not an easy thing to do um, you know but I thought our energy there the last 15 to 16 minutes was much better yeah. 18th time you've scored over 80 plus this year every time you wow. do it's a new school record 15 times you've straight held teams under 70 so that puts you in 20th place for the streak there okay. and uh, you're at 140 wins with 20 losses right now okay. yourself so 87.5 every time i calculate it a win moves you up one tenth of a point that's how <laughs> successful you have been as the coach here well good good players make for good coaches that uh there's there's no nothing quite like it well thanks for being along chad we'll visit with you friday yep thank you uh -huh.
Halftime, men lead it by one on the West Coast scoreboard. Burn. Have a fireplace or wood-burning stove and need wood? We have it. The Rock Pile and Gearing has firewood. They come bundled as half cords and a tote, and with a small deposit for the tote, we can easily load it on your truck or trailer. Or you can purchase it by the half cord, and we can dump it in your truck or trailer. Don't be stuck on a cold, windy Western Nebraska winter day without enough wood. Call the Rock Pile today, 631-7615. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. 2764 7th Street and Gearing. Hi, Dr. Mike Moravec here to tell you about Hydrozen, a revolutionary new therapy using an Epsom salt saturated water float to relax and rejuvenate your body. As a doctor of physical therapy, I know about mind and body problems, and Hydrozen can definitely de stress and speed up healing. Did you know that if you sign up for the loyalty program after booking eight floats, number nine is free? Take advantage by calling 308 63 float or just stop by. You can always book your float online at hydrozenfloat.com. Hydrozen, unplug and recharge. Your home for WNCC Athletics. So look at scoring for Trinidad. They trail by one at halftime, 37-36. Dylan West has 11 points in the uh, first half. He is uh, one of one in free throwing. Ten for Jason Tolliver, two threes, two twos. Seven points, Jalen Bedford, two twos and a three. Then it's uh, three points for Blake Caesar on a three. Two for Tasante Brown. Two for Gary Johns on a pair of free throws. One for Gregory Beatty, who is one out of two and playing but not scoring. Cooper Peterson and Robel Desta and Evan McMinn. For Western Nebraska, let's see, at halftime, they have been led by Them Kong with 10 points. He's two out of four in free throwing. Eight points for Rodney Sawyer. Three points, Carter Brown. Brown is three of three in free throwing. He had a tactical and then was fouled on a drive and hit those two. Biko Johnson with two. He's two for two at the line. Let's see. Terumble Zaki has four points. And that's it. Josiah Deolo's playing but not scoring in the first half along with Carl Thorpe. So Western Nebraska by one at halftime. We'll look at some of the team stats when we come back on the Halftime Show. We made it through 2020. Thank you. We made it through 2021. Thank you. We're looking forward to working with all of our customers, old and new, in 2022. And thank you for your business the past 10 years, whether it's sports teams, schools, businesses, or something unique just for you. The team at Logos has had the pleasure working with you and can't wait to work with you again. So from Jared. Thank you. Ryan. Thank you. Nick. Thank you. Danielle. Thank you. Anthony. Thank you. Mike and Adam. Thank you. Logos, downtown Gearing. You know, Floyd's Truck Center began with a single operation in Scotts Bluff. Today, the company serves the trucking industry with nine locations. And at all nine, you'll find service departments with factory trained technicians, fully stocked parts departments, and knowledgeable staff. So when you're on the road in Sydney, Cheyenne, Casper, Gillette, Rock Springs, Rapid City, Fort Pier, or Belgrade, Montana, service and convenience are just ahead with Floyd's Truck Center. Your home and away voice for the Cougars. 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska slight edge and rebounding 20 to 17 at halftime. Carl Thorpe has 4, Agua Nywish, excuse me, 5 and then Nywish has 4. For Trinidad out of their 17, West has 4 and Brown has 3. Turnovers, 8 on Western Nebraska. 10 on Trinidad. We'll have a few more stats coming up right after It this. takes a lot to run your business, and a lot has changed. What hasn't changed is the professional partnership with your business and ENH CPAs and management consultants. When you include their team, they will develop a plan to assist with your accounting, tax planning, valuation services, and even litigation support and exit planning. Then you can focus on day-to-day -day responsibilities. Troy Hilliard, Lindsey Matthews, and Seth Koval will guide your business into the future. ENH CPAs and management consultants pc innovative trusted proven 
No job is ever done without the right fuels. This is Brian from Dooley Oil. In this country, our extreme conditions call for extreme measures. We carry both red and clear diesel treated with power service to keep injectors clean and add lubricity and avoid gelling up in cold weather. We also offer a full line of house products designed to keep you on the road and field. Committed to service, Dooley Oil offers delivery too. Stop in at 2475 North 10th Street on the Scottsdale Pearing Highway or call 633-2764. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. On KOZY 101.3, looking at shooting, pretty even on field goals, 45% for Trinidad, 44 for Western Nebraska. However, on threes, Trinidad's four out of eight for 50%. Western Nebraska, only one out of seven for 14. Western Nebraska's made eight out of their 12 free throws for 67%, and Trinidad's four out of five for 80 percent at halftime off the bench we're tied at 14 each second chance points trinidad an eight six advantage and turn it around on points off turnovers western nebraska has a two-point advantage in that one 11 to nine trinidad will be moving left to right western nebraska right to left here in the uh, second half of play Helping to bring you the ball game today, Ally Property Management, your friend in real estate. And Floyd's Truck Center, your commercial farm and feed truck center, representing Freightliner, Western Star, and Harsh. They're at 322 South Beltline, Highway East in Scott's Bluff. For Trinidad, we're going to see Cooper Peterson, Robel Desta, looks like Dylan West, Gregory Beatty and Javon Tolliver. Western Nebraska now breaking their huddle. They'll have the basketball to open play. And it looks like it'll be Biko Johnson, Zaki, Nywish, Carter Brown, and Them Kong for Western Nebraska. So Western Nebraska up one point here at Halftime, it's been a good one so far. We've had three ties, seven lead changes in the ball game. Nywish will bounce it in to Biko Johnson, who gives it to Zaki. Zaki wanting to reverse the pass, and that'll be double dribble. Man wasn't where he expected him, and Zaki had made up his mind to pass the ball, and the turnover results. Nobody was home, and he had to double dribble it. Here comes uh, Tolliver. Tolliver speeds it to the right side, gives to Peterson, swing it to Beatty. Left wing, Desta now. Into the corner, Cooper Peterson, a contested three. It won't go. Nywish leaps high, times his leap well for the rebound. To Carter Brown. Brown stops, pops. The three bounces twice, won't go. And we're going to have a flop called against Carter Brown as he attempted to draw a call there as the ball hit the iron, the board, the iron, and came away to Trinidad. So our score is still 37-36. We've played about half a minute. No change in the score. Here's Tolliver. He loses the handle on it, but it'll be picked up by Peterson into the forecourt. He nearly throws it away. It'll be saved, however, by Desta. Desta. Takes it back outside to Beatty, who just tucks it away for a minute and says, let's settle down. Here's Peterson, Desta. They'll play catch, get it into the middle. In trouble, Desta. They'll go outside with it. Three misses by Beatty. Rebound taken by Trinidad. And scoring is Dylan West to give the lead back to Trinidad. 38-37. Eighth lead change we've had. Carter Brown. Nywish, Biko Johnson now with the ball. Started left, was cut off by Tolliver. He'll back away. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Here comes Biko to the hoop. The fadeaway goes in as he tumbles to the ground. And Johnson with his first fielder of the game gives the lead back to Western Nebraska. Here comes a three by Peterson in the corner, and he'll answer right away. That makes it 41-38. Three lead changes in the last three possessions. 41-39. I think I said 38. 
Here's Nywish. Nice move. Nywish takes it to the hoop. Can't get the shot to go, however. Rebound is finally Trinidad's as Beatty wins the battle for that one. Tolliver, four-court again for Trinidad with just over two minutes gone in the half. A two-point lead now for Trinidad. The runner in the paint won't go, and the rebound taken off by Kong. His pass ahead is intercepted. Trinidad coming back the other direction, and we've got an injury, and it's Nywish. The official waited until the ball was not being advanced by Trinidad to take the injury timeout, and Nywish is hobbling as he gets up. He crashed hard, and that's one thing about a basketball court. It's pretty hard considering all you're doing is wearing flimsy uniforms. Nywish will come off as Doug Jones escorts him. And looks like we're going to have Thorpe come in, also Sawyer to come in. Kong will go out along with Nywish. So 17.42 to go, 41.39 Western Nebraska trailing Trinidad. Trinidad 4-1 and one in the subregion, Western Nebraska 1-3. and three. Western's won a dozen games out of 20. Trinidad's won 10 of 17. Into the backcourt to Tulliver as the pressure was good in the forecourt by Western Nebraska on the inbound. Here's Dylan West. He'll swing it across to Desta. Down low to West and Western Nebraska trying to rip it away. Jump will be called and the possession arrow Trinidad's favor. They'll have the baseline out of bounds play with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Cooper Peterson takes it. He'll launch, but it's short. Rebound, however, taken off by Trinidad's Richard Swanson. It's ripped away from him by Sawyer. Sawyer with the basketball. Races into the forecourt. Takes it in the paint. Drives and scores off the glass. Sawyer will tie it up at 41. Tolliver goes high post to West again. The 6'7 player out of Chicago dribbles once, gives to Cooper Peterson. He's blocked, rebound, knocked around, and it'll be Biko Johnson winning the race for that one. Biko Johnson, a one-handed pass to Sawyer, left side. Sawyer goes to the left corner. Nothing there, so he'll dribble around on the wing. Skips it across, far side. Biko Johnson in front of the western bench. Biko Johnson. Shakes and bakes, pulls up at the free throw line, and we're going to have a, an offensive foul called against uh, Thorpe for setting an illegal screen. That'll be the first on Thorpe, but it will be the 11th turnover on Western Nebraska. 16 minutes, 34 seconds to go, tied at 41 all. Chancellor Johnson in for Western Nebraska now as Brown comes out. Also, we'll see Dominguez for Trinidad, and he'll take the inbound pass. Handling it now as he passes away to Bedford, who's in also. Caesar, who has a three. West, Caesar open on the side. The three-pointer rolls around, comes out. Sawyer with the rebound. Sawyer has men coming up from behind. They'll knock it away. It's a turnover on Western Nebraska. Now the ball knocked away by Western. Same thing, Zaki hustled and did it. Stopping, Biko Johnson has the three rim out, and it'll be Trinidad coming up with it. Richard Swanson on the rebound. Dominguez, pass into the corner. Three-pointer goes in for Jalen Bedford. Bedford gives Trinidad the three-point lead, 44-41. 15 minutes, 40 seconds to go in the game. Sawyer to Biko Johnson. 43, they called that a two-pointer, not a three. Western with it, but the ball's taken away. Another turnover on Western Nebraska. Get it on ahead to Bedford. His reverse layup will go in, and he now has 11 points in the game. Bedford, a two instead of a three, and now another two. That makes it 45-41. Trinidad on a run as Chancellor Johnson has it. Comes cross court to Biko Johnson. Johnson will drive down on the baseline, reverses it out to Sawyer. Sawyer backs off as the drive wasn't there. We're inside 10 on the shot clock. Sawyer, the floater from 15 off glass. It won't go, and the rebound Dylan West of Trinidad. 14.45 to go, clock running, 45-41 Trinidad. Bedford 
Near side, Caesar. Caesar dribbles slowly toward the right side. He'll take the three as the defense dropped off and he hits it. Caesar has hit a pair of threes in the game and all of a sudden the biggest lead Trinidad has had in timeout taken by Western Nebraska. 14 minutes, 25 seconds to go on the timeout. 48-41 Trinidad on the West Coast. Be the envy of the neighborhood with the new Green Mountain Grill from High Plains Spas and Recreation. In addition to Green Mountain Grills, High Plains Spas and Recreation also has the pellets, cooking spices, rib racks, smoking shelves, covers, and other accessories, as well as replacement parts. If they don't have what you need, they could get it. Yep, get a Green Mountain Grill and be that neighbor that's always admired for the wonderful, yummy barbecue smells. High Plains Spas and Recreation. Open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1725 East Overland in Scotts Bluff. Why does Papa Murphy's offer any large pizza for just $10 on Tuesdays? Because these things also happen on Tuesdays. Soccer practice. Softball practice. T-ball practice. Picture day. Jake's mom can't do carpool. Business appointments. Or the dentist appointments. Tuba lessons. Hopathon. PTA meetings. Science fair. Show and tell. Book reports. Math late practice. Papa Murphy's $10 Tuesdays. Make Tuesdays easier and more delicious. Home bake any large pizza, just $10. Papa Murphy's. Love at 425 degrees. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska trailing 48-41 as Trinidad on a run. Western Nebraska led it 39-38. So a 10-2 run Trinidad has going as we went to the time out there. Western Nebraska needs to find an answer. Recently, they've had some games where the runs have not been stopped quickly, and it was too much to overcome. Nowish takes the inbound. Looks like Trinidad in the zone this time. Kong at the free throw line with it. He'll turn, drives on the right side, and scores. That's a dozen, but it's 48-43. Trinidad leading. They've got it. Dominguez. Bedford on the weave. Bedford jumps it back out to Caesar, who just hit a three. Won't take it this time. He'll give to Dominguez. Dominguez to Johns. Gary Johns holding it on the left side. Now drives into the paint. Stops. It's knocked away, but it'll be a foul. And it will go against Sawyer, I think. Yep, it'll be Sawyer, not Kong. And Rodney Sawyer has his third. They were both down there defending. It looked like Kong may have gotten a hand on the ball, but Sawyer with the foul before that. So at the line, Gary Johns, he's made the only two free throws he's attempted in the game. Those are his two points. And the lefty puts it in. 77% free throw shooter, but boy, he looks solid up there, very confident. He has three points now, and it's a six-point lead, 49-43. Johns out of Chicago hits again. 50 to 43. Nywish will be double teamed in the backcourt, breaks out of that, brings it across the timeline, gets it to Kong, right baseline. Kong fakes, drives, puts it in as he's fouled. Kong with a strong move there as he had bodies draped all over him. And we've had a technical foul called against Agua Nywish. So the bucket will count for Kong. Foul is on Johns. And then a technical foul on Nywish, which is going to negate some of the success Western Nebraska just had. Johns will have his first personal of the game, and Nywish also assessed with his first. So it'll be... Technicals to be shot first, and Blake Caesar goes to the line. Now, Caesar is 60% free throw shooter on the year, but he's been hot from outside the arc in this game. Maybe that's why he was selected by Folda. However, he misses. Coach Folda turns and kind of has his back watching what's happening right now in the stands rather than the court. Turns around just in time to see Caesar rim rattle it out. So he goes 0 for 2, and now Kong will be shooting at the other end, down at the left-hand side. And 
let's see. We'll have Dylan West come back in for Trinidad. Johns goes out. Dominguez is also out. Let's see. Bedford's out there. Tolliver also. West, we have mentioned. Caesar stays. And Kong gets ready for the free throw as Brown, the other man in there for Trinidad. Kong hits the free throw. Old-fashioned three-point play makes it 50 to 46. Western Nebraska down four. They're on defense. Brown gets it across to Bedford. Bedford jumps it down low. West will put it in. Nice pass, and West has 15 points in the game. 52 to 46. Nywish picks it up, goes to Johnson, back to Nywish. Nywish high post to Kong. Kong will spin into the paint, turns, doubled out to Nywish. Nywish fakes, drives, and scores over West. Nywish has half a dozen in the game now. His first points this half. Four-point lead, Trinidad. They have the basketball. Caesar. West, West with his back to the basket, and now a backdoor cut through the middle, and it's going to be knocked away and a foul called against Western Nebraska. And that's going to be Sawyer, and he'll have his fourth personal. There's a lot of time to go in this one. 12 minutes, 40 seconds to go. Sawyer picking up his fourth. We're going to see Zaki come in. Biko Johnson comes in. And, of course, Sawyer, one going out. The other will be Thorpe. So it'll be Trinidad to inbound the basketball, right side. It's down on the baseline. They'll get it low on the block. Shot unavailable for Bedford. He'll get it outside. Three misses by Caesar. And we're going to have a foul as Biko Johnson was pushed out of bounds by Brown. And Brown will have his first of the game. So Western Nebraska to inbound, down 52 to 48. Chancellor Johnson with it. Cross to Biko Johnson. And Biko being picked up by Brown. Nears the timeline. Senses the double team coming. Gets around it. Passes to Nywish. Biko Johnson with it again as they'll set the offense. 12.15 to go. Kong comes out to take the pass in. He'll give it to Nywish. Across to Biko Johnson. And we've got an illegal screen set. That'll be Chancellor Johnson picking up the foul for Western Nebraska. Third foul on Chancellor. Remember, he had one with under two seconds to go in the half, so that one becomes rather critical. 14th turnover on Western Nebraska also. Nywish is going to put a little one-man press on. Peterson wanting to inbound. Now Chancellor Johnson coming down to help out also. Cooper grinning as he talks with Michael Bradley on the uh, western bench. They both have big smiles on their face. Ball comes in to Bedford. Bedford will bring it across the timeline. Four-point lead for Trinidad. High post, West. He'll turn, take the 20-footer. It's off the back of the iron, and Nywish outleaps everybody for the rebound. Nywish pulls up. He'll launch a three and hit it. Wow. It's a one-point game, 52-51, 11.45 to go. West zips the pass far side, and the three by Bedford doesn't answer. Biko Johnson comes up with the rebound. Chance for Western to take the lead. Biko Johnson hesitated, thought about it. Yep, he's going to take the three. Nobody picks him up. It's an air ball, however, and it's out of bounds, but touched last by Trinidad. Good hustle by Zaki down on the side to tip it away. And it went off of Trinidad. So here is Swanson back in for the Trojans of Trinidad. 52-51. Trinidad leads it. Nywish inbounding. Into Kong on the baseline. He'll muscle his way into the middle. Turns, puts it up, draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. And that'll be West picking up his third personal for Trinidad. Kong has been busy at the stripe. He's three of five. He'll have two coming here. Nobody else for Western Nebraska has come close to shooting that many. And for that matter, nobody for Trinidad either. Free throw bounces in on a friendly hop. That'll make 14 for Kong. One more coming. 
We are tied at 52 all, which is our fifth tie we've had in the ball game. And Kong hits to make it 53-52. Press will be on by Western Nebraska. 11th lead change we've had in the game. And the ball taken deep on the baseline by Desta. He's in trouble down there and timeout taken. Mike Fulda had to take a timeout. Otherwise, could have been a turnover coming. 11-14 to go, 53-52 Western Nebraska on the West Coast. Westco has a long history of rewarding our loyal members who support our agronomy, feed, Jordan, petroleum, new alliance, and Western Aviation divisions. In 2021, Westco paid $4 million in cash back to members of our communities. Memberships include business, consumer, and producer options. Take advantage of our competitive patronage rates by picking up a membership application from your nearest Westco location. Westco, service, solutions, success. Westco's your best value through and through. Are you fed up with the cattle not getting what they need from the forages they're on? Need something to help bridge that gap? That's where Purina Rangeland Protein Tubs come in. They have consistent intake and nutrient delivery that help to eliminate overconsumption. They also provide high-quality bypass proteins to maximize animal performance and have trace minerals that aim to promote better fertility, immune function, and overall health. So stop struggling. Stop by Marker Ag to get your Purina Rangeland Protein Tubs today. Located at 718 21st Avenue in Scotts Bluff. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 1013 KOZY. Trinidad inbounds the ball, gets it into the forecourt successfully this time. Here's Cooper Peterson. What a great defensive play by Agua Nywish. Peterson went up to take the shot, and I wish would have stuffed it right back down. He came back down, tried to dribble, but obviously it was traveling. Great defense by Nywish, and have we not become accustomed to that so far this year? Biko Johnson takes the inbound, a one-point lead, Western Nebraska, 11 minutes to go in the ball game. Nywish gives it to Biko Johnson. They'll double in the backcourt when they can. Biko realizes it, and 10 seconds expired. Western Nebraska did not get the ball across. One of the things officials are now doing is they're using the shot clock for the count on over and backs because when it's set at 30, when it gets down to 20, they know 10 seconds is up. So 20 on the shot clock for Trinidad because they take over in the forecourt. Ball inbounded by Desta. He'll get it to Peterson in the corner. Josiah Diolos on him. Peterson gets it back, free throw line jumper, misses off the right side, but the rebound comes away to Trinidad. West with it, Cooper Peterson. Peterson drives left corner, has to reverse it out. Tolliver with it, 12 on the shot clock. Tolliver left side, Peterson in the corner, he'll miss short, and the rebound, Nywish. Nywish comes out on the dribble, he's one on two, now two on two, it's Chancellor Johnson, he'll hit the three. And timeout. Trinidad with 10-19 remaining in the ball game. Western Nebraska has taken a four-point lead, 56-52 on the West Coast scoreboard. Same great food, breakfast, lunch, or dinner is still being served at Perkins, along with yummy muffins, cookies, and pies. Just in time for the cool weather, our homestyle menu brings pot roast, pot roast stroganoff, pot roast melt, and pot roast dinner. When you're in, be sure to ask your server how to sign up for Perkins E-Club, where you can get Perkins coupons and special promotions sent to your email. You can sign up online or in your Perkins in Scott's Bluff. Homestyle cooking, any way you slice it. Perkins Restaurant and Bakery, Scott's Bluff. Team Auto Center is a different car buying experience, and we want customers for life. Here's another way to prove it. Now, when you purchase a new vehicle from Team Auto Center, it'll come with a lifetime warranty at no extra cost. That's right. Purchase a brand new vehicle from Team Auto Center and get a lifetime warranty. One low price, plain, simple, and always. And now, a lifetime warranty. Ask one of our sales consultants for details or visit TeamAutoCenter.net. GMC, we are professional grade. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of the Cougars. Western Nebraska leading it here on KOZY 1013, 56-52, 10-19 remaining in the ball game. Western Nebraska has gone on a 10-0 run of their own. They had given up a 10-2 run, or yeah, it was a 10-2 run earlier to trail 48-41 with 14 and a half minutes to go. Cooper Peterson takes the inbound. Now 
Desta. Desta across the timeline against the press. Now Cooper comes out to take a pass, but instead they'll go to Tolliver. Now Nywish knocks it away, but Tolliver picks it up again. West, high post, Desta with it. Desta gets it to West in the block. Wanted to pass inside, it wasn't there. Shot clock at eight. He'll now get the ball into the middle and Desta will put it home with contact. His first two. 56-54, Western Nebraska. Diolos across, handling it for Western Nebraska. A two-point lead. We're halfway through the second half. Diolos to the right side. Swings it to Nywish on the left. And Nywish puts it on the floor, kicks it into the corner. Chancellor Johnson gets it again. Johnson buries the three, and it's a five-point lead. 9-19 remaining in the contest. Tolliver, high post, West. He'll give it away to Desta. Desta wanting to throw low. He'll just drive to the right side himself. Turns out to West. He'll take a 17-footer, and it goes out of bounds. Trying to save it in was Desta, but he was out of bounds at the time. We've got a timeout, 8.58 to go, 59-54 Western Nebraska on the West Coast. Score there's a story behind every smile, and everyone wants to have a smile they feel good about. Hello, I'm Dr. Caitlin Lastavica, and we understand that's true. Our practice offers general dentistry, fillings, partials, teeth cleanings, whitening, and emergency dental services. Call us today for an appointment at 632-5131 because there's a story behind every smile, and we'd love to be a part of yours. Your home for WNCC Athletics. Western Nebraska with 8.58 to go, leading at 59.54. Hydrotex is your lubrication solution partner, a member of the Holiday family of companies. Hydrotex is proud to support local athletes. And Russell's Automotive, another of our sponsors, they're your family-owned go-to for all of your quality automotive repair needs. And Monument Physical Therapy offers the Bumps and Bruises program, offering one free consultation and one free follow-up for all area athletes. That's Monument Physical Therapy in Gearing. Western Nebraska went on a 10-0 run to lead it 56-52 after they had given up a 10-2 run earlier to Trinidad. So it's seesawed back and forth. We've had five ties, 11 lead changes now in the contest. And Western Nebraska will have the ball out of bounds. Nywish will inbound to Diolos. We also have Thorpe, Kong, and Chancellor Johnson in. Chancellor has hit two threes here as he's heated it up. Diolos across. One hand pass to Nywish, right side into the corner to Thorpe. Thorpe out to Nywish, dribbles once, gives it to Thorpe. He'll launch the three, but it's short. Long, snaring rebound for Bedford as he stuck a big paw out to pull that one in for Trinidad. Bedford, West. West being doubled by Thorpe now, and we'll have a foul called against Kong, I believe, unless it was Thorpe coming down from the top. No, it'll be Kong picking up his second personal. So six team fouls now in Western Nebraska. One more before it'll be bonus situation for Trinidad. Diolos out. Biko Johnson in for Western Nebraska. Five-point lead, but it's inbounding on the baseline for Trinidad. Faking a super long three was Peterson. They'll get it on the baseline. It's now out on the wing to Dominguez. Pass knocked away by guess who? Nywish, but it's recovered by West. West drives into the paint and scores. Nice recovery by the 6'7 sophomore out of Chicago to make it 59-56. Skip it across, Biko Johnson, Thorpe, back to Biko. Left side skip pass, Chancellor Johnson hits again. Three threes, and it's 62 to 56, 7.45 to go. Cooper Peterson for Trinidad, right side Bedford. Peterson backs away after taking the pass. 
He'll give it at the top of the circle to West. Now Peterson, he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot three. That was Thorpe jumping out to try and get the block. He'll have his second foul instead. And it puts Cooper Peterson at the line. He has a three. And he'll be shooting three free throws here. Seven minutes and 34 seconds remain in the contest. Western Nebraska has taken the lead back, a game they could surely use in the subregion standings. They're one and three. Trinidad's four and one. They're a game behind Otero at five and oh. Free throw misses by Peterson. So he misses the first one, kind of reminiscent of Western Nebraska's Iguanawish, who was fouled, had three coming, and he only made the third one. In this case, Peterson will hit the second. That'll make it 62 to 57. Western Nebraska, Thorpe out, Zaki in. And because of that, Cooper Peterson steps back off the line, now comes back up, bounced the ball by the official. One dribble, spins it, and puts it in. So 62 to 58. Western Nebraska, a four-point lead. Chancellor again. This one will come up short. Rebound tipped over. Western Nebraska has it. Chancellor will try it and hit it again. Four threes for Chancellor Johnson, and it's 65-58. Zaki's the man who kept that rebound alive to give Chancellor the second opportunity. Dominguez, West, get it to Bedford on the baseline. His 18-footer won't go. Biko Johnson with the rebound. Johnson races down court, avoids the double team, and will have a foul called against Diego Dominguez. And he'll have his first of the game. That is the fourth, and fouls will become important because if you need to foul to put the team at the line, and we're a long way from that, but just in case it comes up, you need to make sure you've got the fouls to give without a lot of time coming off the clock. Here's Biko Johnson on the inbound. Biko goes to Zaki, now Nywish. Nywish out to Chancellor, faked the three, gives it to Nywish, gets it back, feeds it down low. Kong is fouled as he goes up for the shot. Nice pass, and Kong trying to take the shot was wrapped up by Dominguez, who will pick up his second foul in the last 19 seconds. It'll put Kong at the line to shoot a pair. We've got timeout, Trinidad. 6.39 to go, 65-58, Western Nebraska on the West Coast. Score Hi, this is Larry from Russell's Automotive. Listen up, car enthusiasts. Here at Russell's Automotive, we sell and service performance exhaust systems. Let our exhaust professionals get you all set up. The custom system includes dual or single exhaust, the choice of Magnapro or Flowmaster muffler, installed with tips of your choice. Call Russell's Automotive for more information. Let's get this project started. Call 308-635-4065 or stop by at 112 West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Your home and away voice for the Cougars, 1013 KOZY. Western Nebraska ahead 65-58. A lot of time to go, though. 639. Contact Jennifer Yurdialis, your local five-star lender with Castle and Cook Mortgage. For a simple, friendly, and fast loan process for your home purchase or refinance, contact Jennifer. Castle and Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. And Western Nebraska's sponsorships include Wells Fargo Advisors. For more than 125 years, they've created wealth management and investment strategies aimed at achieving our clients' personal financial goals. Call Ryan Windhorst, 632-7561. Together, we'll go far. Six minutes, 39 seconds to go. Women won 107 to 65 for their 20th win of the year. Now Kong will be at the line for Western Nebraska as they're trying for their 13th win. They're 12 and 8 on the year right now. Trinidad 10 and 7, but in the uh, subregion, 4 and 1 for Trinidad, 1 and 3 for Western Nebraska. Kong hits the first free throw as it hit the iron, the board, and fell in. 66-58.
Kong hitting about two thirds of his free throws on the season. He'll put this one in also. He's four out of five this half, 67-58. And the ball nearly stolen away, but a foul will be called against Western Nebraska as Biko Johnson a split second late. He knew it, he kind of laid on the floor in disgust there as he just missed the opportunity for a turnover and picks up his third. Rodney Sawyer has four fouls, Biko Johnson with three, Chancellor Johnson with three. On the other side of the ledger, Dylan West has three for Trinidad. Nobody else with more than two, most one each. It is a one and one as Western Nebraska is over the limit. So Javon Tolliver to shoot his first free throw of the ball game. Ten points, they were all in the first half. He'll earn the bonus. Makes it 67-59. Just over six and a half minutes to go in the ball game. He'll hit again. 66-60. Press on. Biko Johnson handling it. Changes to the left hand. Bounces it ahead to Chancellor Johnson. Gets it to Zaki. He'll go to Nywish. Now Kong out in the corner. Here's Kong on the drive. He'll spin and put it in over West. And we're going to have timeout. I don't know. The shot clock did not get adjusted. So timeout is the official alertly spotted that. 69-60, Western Nebraska. 6-11 remains. Peterson inbounds for Trinidad to Tolliver. Tolliver in the center jump circle, yo-yoing the basketball as he watches his teammates make their cuts. Tolliver still with it, now goes high post to West. West will turn, take a three. It's off the back iron, and the rebound taken by Bedford. Peterson gets it down to West. He'll blow the layup. Rebound taken by Biko Johnson. Biko Johnson clears it. Chancellor for three, but it rims out. Tipped up, no good. Cooper Peterson with it. Cooper Peterson for Trinidad with the basketball. 5.35 to go in the game. Peterson will take the three, but it's off iron in the rebound to Kong. We're going to have a foul called, and I think Kong's going to be called for it. Yep, Them Kong now has his third personal foul, and the ball will be Trinidad shooting free throws. Dylan West, who's made the only free throw he's attempted in the ball game, and this the final one-and-one one for Trinidad because Western with nine team fouls. Sawyer comes back in with his fourth foul. Remember, he got that with 12.40 to go, so a little over seven minutes elapsed with him on the bench. He should be fresh for the finale here if he doesn't commit the fifth. West, a 65% free throw shooter, puts it up and in. Hit the iron, the board, and falls in to earn the bonus. West with 18 points in the game. We're going to see Robel Desta back in for Trinidad now. Swanson takes a seat. So West has made it an eight-point Western lead. He'll hit this one, so it's down to seven. 69-62. Biko Johnson passes on ahead, and not sure official called time. I don't think they got the... Shot clock starting in time. Western was already at the uh, timeline, and the clock was showing 29 seconds. So they adjust it down slightly, but Western still with a lot of time on the possession. Biko Johnson, Thorpe in the corner, back out to Biko. Biko cross courts to Nywish. Now Sawyer. Sawyer drives, puts it up. It won't go, but a foul. Thorpe dunked it home on the follow, but that won't count. There will be a foul against Trinidad. And that'll go on Tolliver. That's his second. Sawyer will get to shoot two here. Next foul will mean the bonus is in effect for Western Nebraska as it'll be the seventh against Trinidad. Sawyer tucking his shirt in at the official's bequest. His first free throws of the ball game. He has 10 points. He coolly puts that one home. Western Nebraska back to an eight-point lead, 70 to 62.
Sawyer hits again. 71-62, Western Nebraska with the lead. Five minutes, 10 seconds to go as Tolliver advances it to the forecourt. Ball's knocked away from West by Thorpe, and it'll be inbounded nearly in front of me here, just kind of the top of the circle extended to the right-hand side as Trinidad looks at it offensively. Desto will be the inbounder. Zips it into the backcourt to Tolliver, and he'll bring it back into the offensive end. Tolliver, high post, West. West, who just missed an 18-footer, gives it to Desta. Looking down low to West, can't get it there. He'll pop out to the free throw line. Now to Bedford. Bedford kicks it in the corner. Peterson's three is off the back iron with one on the shot clock. Sawyer rebounds for Western Nebraska. Good defensive possession by Western Nebraska that time. Sawyer had ideas of the three. He'll drive, and he's going to be fouled held up by West as he was starting to stagger and fall backward, and West came over and grabbed him to help out a rival there. Foul will go on Tolliver, and he has three. So Sawyer, who just hit a couple of free throws, back up to try one and one this time. They'll rule before any shot attempt. Looks like we'll have a sub coming in. Swanson back in and Bedford out for Trinidad. Western Nebraska leading by nine with 4.31 to go. And that's a lot of time. You're going to have to hit some free throws. Make no mistake about it. And the first one rims out, so he does not get the bonus. And the rebound taken by Trinidad. Here's Tolliver again. Tolliver, the playmaker, working to the right side. Hooks a pass in the middle. It's knocked away by Chancellor Johnson. Sawyer has it. Sawyer feeds down low to Nywish. Now off to Sawyer for the layup. Turnover against Trinidad. Their unlucky 13th of the game. That makes it 73-62. Tolliver, left side. He'll take a long three. It's off the back iron. Biko Johnson rebounds. Three minutes, 52 seconds to go. Johnson in no hurry. Brings it across on the dribble. Cooper Peterson will pick him up. We're now down to 20 seconds. Biko just dribbling around out on top, trying to take some time off the clock. Get a last second shot to go, perhaps. Here's Biko on the drive. He'll feed it down low to Thorpe and misses connections. It goes out of bounds, and the turnover gives it back to Trinidad with 3.32 to go, down 11. Western Nebraska on defense. They led it at halftime by one, 37-36. Tolliver again to handle it for Trinidad. Nywish comes out to defend on him this time. Tolliver reverses it, Desta. Desta puts it on the floor, steps back, 18-footer is short. Rebound, Thorpe. Western Nebraska has it, Biko Johnson. Faked a long pass. Now he'll just dribble it slowly into the forecourt. Biko again stops a step inside the forecourt, waiting for a defender to come out. Desta on him now. Biko, hesitation move, takes it down low, doubled, passes out to Chancellor Johnson. Biko Johnson with it, shot clock at nine. Biko, hesitation, drives left side, whips it in the corner. Thorpe, two, one, puts it up, tips it up, tips it up again and Biko Johnson has it. The ball hit the iron with one on the shot clock for Western Nebraska. So they have a fresh 20. We're at two and a half minutes to go, leading by 11. Biko Johnson way outside, making them come after him. Flip the ball into the corner. That's Nywish. Nywish will dribble on the baseline. The turnover gives it back to Trinidad again. A couple of turnovers in the last couple of possessions. Now we're going to see Gary Johns report for Trinidad. And also it looks like Jalen Bedford will come. No, that's not Bedford. That's Brown. We're going to have a timeout. 2.22 to go. 73-62 Western Nebraska on the West Coast. Katie, remember the day you made me the happiest man alive? I asked if you wanted to live to the fullest. To wake up every morning savoring potato olays, fluffy scrambled eggs, and breakfast burritos from Taco John's. And you said... Get your hands off my burrito. Oh, Katie, I love when you whisper sweet nothings. Wake up and go with bigger, bolder, better breakfast. Only at Taco John's. 
Drive through open at 6 a.m., dining room open at 8. Taco John's with locations in Scotts Bluff, Gearing, and Bridgeport. You're listening to Chuck Swartz, the voice of WNCC Athletics. Western Nebraska up 73 to 62 with two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the ball game. Western Nebraska, very energetic half. After 37 points in the first, they've scored 36, and we still have 222 to go. And uh, for Trinidad, on the other hand, boy, they've been held down quite a bit. They had 36 at halftime, only 26 in the game to this point. So 222 to go. It'll be inbounded by Blake Caesar of Trinidad. And Western will put the press on to try and make them use some time, if not get the steal on the inbound. Ball comes in to Brown. Brown dribbling around on the near side. Still deep in the backcourt. Now breaks through the middle. He'll take it to the free throw line. Jump shot rolls out. Rebound Sawyer. Sawyer will dribble a couple of times. Now get it to Nywish. Nywish with two minutes to go. Gives it to Biko Johnson. He's into the forecourt. Western Nebraska by 11. Biko Johnson being defended now by Swanson. Drives, puts a reverse layup up. It won't go. Tipped up, no good. Tipped up again, no good. Thorpe on the tip-ups. And the rebound taken now by Trinidad. Here comes Tolliver in a hurry. He'll stop, take a long two, but it won't go. And the rebound taken by Thorpe of Western Nebraska. Time running out on Trinidad now after those two misses. Minute and a half to go. Sawyer against Blake Caesar. He'll drive on the left side. Backs off. We've got 15 on the shot clock. Good recognition of time and score. Now Sawyer drives to the free throw line. Stops. The 15-footer goes in. Took a couple of hops, and Sawyer has 16. 75-62. The drive at the other end, and a quick hoop by Swanson. So 75-64. Those were the first points Swanson has scored in the ball game. Here's Biko Johnson. Over the head pass to Thorpe. Deflected now as it goes to Chancellor Johnson. Biko Johnson, 10 on the shot clock. Biko will create. He drives low and stuffs it home. Pico Johnson elevated there and makes it a 77-64 game. Get it down into the corner. Blake Caesar, he'll drive in. 15-footer misses. Sawyer rebounds again, and Western's going to win it. 25 seconds to go. Western Nebraska, 77. And Trinidad, 64. Shot clock is off. Sawyer will just dribble around out by the bench for Western Nebraska. They're not going to try and score. Trinidad starts strolling over to the bench. We're just waiting for the final five seconds to tick off the clock here. <laughs> now trying to steal it right at the end was Tolliver, but Sawyer held on to it, and Western Nebraska ends up with the win, 77-64 over Trinidad, holding Trinidad to 28 points in the second half while scoring 40 themselves western nebraska improving to 13 and 8 they're two and three in the sub region trinidad four and two now falls a game and a half behind otero and they are 10 and 8 overall we'll get them totaled up and be back after this. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Scotts Bluff supports the WNCC Cougars. Treating your chiropractic needs from newborn to 100 years old. Dr. Levi Bolin can treat all of your hurts, pains, aches, and injuries. If you are experiencing pain in your head, neck, shoulders, arms, mid or low back, or down to your legs, call for an appointment today. Advantage Chiropractic is also fully certified with Optum VA. If you know a veteran that needs chiropractic care, call Levi today. Advantage Chiropractic and Acupuncture, 308-633-1400. 
1325. Go Cougars! Be the envy of the neighborhood with the new Green Mountain Grill from High Plains Spas and Recreation. In addition to Green Mountain Grills, High Plains Spas and Recreation also has the pellets, cooking spices, rib racks, smoking shelves, covers, and other accessories, as well as replacement parts. If they don't have what you need, they could get it. Yep, get a Green Mountain Grill and be that neighbor that's always admired for the wonderful, yummy barbecue smells. High Plains Spas and Recreation, open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1725 East Overland in Scotts Bluff. Don't feel like cooking tonight? Order a delicious pizza from WTT. Build your best pizza with the best crust ever. Then add your favorite high-quality fresh toppings and signature spice blend for a delicious pizza that's ready when you are. And the best tasting wings in town. Add an order of 6, 12, or 18 to your to-go order. And best of all, WTT will send you home with a free 2-liter bottle of Pepsi or Coke product of your choice. It's a win-win pizza proposition. From Western Travel Terminal, corner of Avenue I and South Beltline West in Scotts Bluff. Your exclusive home for WNCC Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Western Nebraska had one they needed to win, and they got it today as they pick up a 77-64 victory over Trinidad in the uh, only games today for the men and the women in the South Sub region. So that will change things around a bit. Otero will have to send a thank you note as that gives them a one-and-a-half game lead over Trinidad now in the south sub-region for the men. Western Nebraska early on led it on a free throw by Carter Brown off a technical that started the game, but a quick three by Trinidad, tied up at three. Then it was uh, Western Nebraska the lead. The teams went back and forth. We had a total of seven lead changes, three ties in the first half, made it 36 37 36 western nebraska early points by both teams we traded back and forth we ended up with 11 lead changes in the game but western nebraska 53 52 was in the midst of a 10-0 run and did not relinquish the lead and picked up the big win we'll be back to visit with the coach right after this. It's best to look your best and do it with the folks right here at home. For over 25 years, Scotts Bluff Screen Printing has been the one to turn to for custom screen printing, heat transfer, and custom embroidery on t-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, jerseys, and more. If you have an idea, stop in or give them a call. You're going to get the best advice on what works the best, no matter what your budget. They'll make sure it's the right fit for you. Get in the zone with Scotts Bluff Screen Printing, 1813 Broadway, Scotts Bluff. Your home for Cougar Athletics, 101.3 KOZY. Before we get into all the numbers, we'll visit with the coach here. And congratulations, a win that was sorely needed today, coach. Boy, was it ever. You know, we, uh, we got a lot of confidence in what we're doing, uh, how we're doing it, who we've got doing it. Uh, but sometimes you just need that, you know, moral victory just yeah. to, uh, you know, solidify, you know, all the hard work and, uh, uh, it just, it's, it's a really good feeling. Uh, Going to get a couple days off now, uh, get ready for that McCook North Platte trip, but uh, no doubt uh, great to uh, finish off this homestand with a win. And uh, your team out-rebounded uh, Trinidad, and they have some big height. They averaged right at 6'5 in their starting lineup today, and I know averages aren't everything, but when you're big across the board and they do go 6'8", 6'7", 6'7", uh, that can be tough. It, it does make it tough, and the, the toughest thing that we've noticed with our team rebounding-wise is when we're late defensively and we're getting beat to the rim, it forces everybody to start to rotate, and it makes the rebounding so much more difficult. When our big men have to rotate over to, to uh, defend the rim, now they're not being able to box out their big man. It makes it really hard. So the fact that we were able to keep guys in front of us in the second half and force them to take difficult shots, it was much easier to put bodies on big men, and our guards did a good job of, of helping those bigs clean up the glass today. Boy, didn't they, and... Uh, I guess two things to bring out offensively. Uh, Kong with 21 points, 7 of 9. They're showing on free throws for him. And Chancellor Johnson, four threes in that second half. Boy, I wouldn't have wanted to have shaken hands. Probably would have burned my hand. He was hot. He was. And, you know, he's had his, uh, you know, freshman slumps. And he's had his, uh, 
you know, um, inconsistencies, and that's, that's you know, very typical of a freshman. But, you know, when we recruited him, we knew he was a, was a shooter that could defend. Um, 3 and D is, is extremely valuable in today's day and age. And uh, it was only a matter of time before he heats up again. He went 3 or 4 in a, in a recent game. Um, but, you know, it, it started on the defensive end for us. If we were yeah. giving up too many scores and, and we weren't able to get out in transition, he would never have had those looks. So, for us, it started on the defensive end. And then, you know, credit to him for, for having the balls to step up and hit some shots. Yeah, and I had uh, unofficially 15 turnovers against Trinidad, about what they average. But had you at 17, which, again, is about what you average. But you overcame a stretch there where you had a turnover. Then the shot clock went down. You got a rebound off of that, but then turned it over again. So basically two turnovers in a row on two possessions. But you were able to overcome. It, no doubt. Um, that's, that's, it says a lot about our, our kids' character, you know, the fact that uh, things are going good. We can stay composed and, and you know, continue, you know, on our run. Uh, you know, things are going poorly. You know, we can snap out of it, you know, have some resiliency, uh, maintain some composure and make some plays. Road game's never easy, but I'd have to say if you're going to play back-to-back in the South, McCook and North Platte might be the ones you match up with about as well as anybody. Yeah, and we'll see what, uh, you know, what North Platte brings to the table. We've uh, watched them play when scouting some other teams, uh, and they've got a top 50 player and, uh, you know, a top 50 uh, freshman returner ranked in the country. Um, and then, you know, McCook gave us fits here. The way they defend is, is unique, and uh, they've got enough talent offensively. Um, but, you know, that was uh, dealing with a lot of distractions there with uh, missing our big man and, and a lot going on there that week when we played them the first time. So uh, it would be great to have our full roster uh, to go out McCook here the next time. Looking forward to the trip myself. So we'll see you down there. Congratulations on the win. Coach. Thank you, Chuck. We'll have numbers coming up right after this. Tired of choosing between errands and adventures? Platte Valley Bank can help you take care of everything without missing anything. Next time you get a check, just sign, snap, and send the money directly into your account with mobile deposit. We can't fill your fridge, but we can save you a trip to the bank. Mark another errand off your list and get back to life. You're busy. We make it easy. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank. Member FDIC. Have you heard? Gary's Restoration is under new ownership, and we are celebrating two years. Gary's Restoration for all your water damage, mold cleanup, and restoration, painting, and carpet cleaning. The quality of our work and expertise hasn't changed. We're available 24 hours a day, so remember our number, 633 633- Gary, 633-4279, 633-G-A-R-Y, because we know emergencies don't happen when you want them to, 633-GARY. Fender Bender, hey, 